this is Elaine from Mindful Healing. And it's important to understand our teens' misbehaviors, not just their behaviors. Often we mistake their misbehaviors as a form of disrespect, when what it is is that we forget that they're teenagers. And that means that their brain isn't fully developed yet, especially the prefrontal cortex, where the ability to manage impulse control, for example, is the ability to think things through, to anticipate not only what will happen, but what you can do about what will happen. All that's in the prefrontal cortex, which is still developing. So teens have a hard time with big emotions. And misbehavior often can come off as disrespectful when it simply is that they don't have the words to under, to be able to communicate what's really going on inside them. And it needs to be taken in little steps so instead of personalizing it and acting as if, how dare you disrespect me, take a look and see what might really be going on and start asking open-ended questions, validate, empathize. Again, keep the lines of communication open. Be relational, not just authoritative. And authoritative is good, not authoritarian. Authoritative in terms of um, having good rules and boundaries. But at the same time, being open to their viewpoint and to discussion and to helping them find the words so that they can talk to you about their big emotions because they really do have a hard time. And sometimes they're so overwhelmed, they just want to run away from it. And when they want to run away from it, it can come off as disrespectful. The first and foremost thing that you need to do is stay calm. Don't take the bait because whatever triggered the disrespect, it might be being told something they don't want to have to do. Who knows what it is? Whatever triggered that disrespect, if they rope you into a discussion about disrespect or into you coming down hard on them because of that, then you've lost the opportunity to find out what's really going on. So stay calm. You don't have to engage the disrespect. And the bottom line is definitely do not give in to the temptation to go down to their level. Uh, don't fight to win with them because you won't. Simple as that. You're not going to. Even if they get punished, you will not win because it damages the relationship. So stay calm, disengage. And if the disrespect is combined with anger or irrationality, simply say, even if it's not combined actually, just say, when you can have a calm, more adult-like discussion, we will pursue this further. But until then, I'm not engaging in this conversation. Uh, we'll, we'll revisit this at another time. That is the best thing you can do. And the most important thing is remember the disrespect really isn't about you. It's about whatever is going on in them. So it may be unpleasant, but there's no need to get hurt. There's no need to believe the words that they are saying to you in anger that is not rational. They may have, have something they do need to deal with with you, but how they go about it, that's on them. And you're staying calm and not taking the bait will make all the difference and give them the opportunity to calm down and to be neutral. Keep your tone neutral so that they can keep the volume of your voice mellow so that they can not escalate and they can step back and actually become more respectful. Good luck.